Good morning. Time for prayer and coffee on this Thursday morning. Psalm 37, verse 4. Delight yourself also in the Lord, and He will give you the desires of your heart. It's a great verse to hang on to, isn't it? And we do that often. We grab one verse, sometimes out of context, and fail to grasp the full meaning. Psalm 37, 3. Trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and feed on His faithfulness. Befriend faithfulness. Cultivate faithfulness. Faithful, faithfulness isn't talked about very much in American culture anymore. But we're to feed on His faithfulness. We're to cultivate faithfulness in our own lives. Galatians 5, 22, 23. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Faithfulness is a part of the fruit of the Spirit. Faithfulness to Jesus, faithfulness to the Word of God, faithful to the body of Christ, faithful to our calling, faithful to our gifts. And then after that verse in Psalm 37, 5, commit your way to the Lord. Trust also in Him, and He shall bring it to pass. Commit to Jesus. Trust in Jesus. So the whole passage in context from the English Standard Version, Psalm 37, 3 through 5, Trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and befriend faithfulness. Delight yourself in the Lord, and He will give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust in Him and he will act. One more verse. Matthew 25, 23. His Lord said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a few things. I will make you ruler over many things. Enter into the joy of your Lord. Faithfulness. Faithfulness to Jesus. Faithfulness to our Lord. Faithfulness to our calling our gifting, faithfulness to the body of Christ, the church that Jesus established and is still building. Let's pray. Lord, I know that faithfulness is important to you, and I want faithfulness evident in my life. Help me not to overlook the little things or the simple things in my walk with you. Cultivate faithfulness in my life and let me feed on your faithfulness, Lord. Father, it is the desire of my heart right now is to see prodigals brought home. I may only be faithful over a little, Lord, but when you take my faithfulness, what faithfulness I have, into account and give me the desire of my heart, would you begin to awaken the prodigals from community haven? Let them see the lateness of the hour. Let them glimpse through spiritual eyes what is happening in the earth and in the heavens. And cause them to come to themselves and realize they need to be back in Father's house faithfully. Draw them, Lord, with your love and your compassion. Draw them in your mercy, Jesus. We ask to the one who, in the name of the one who is always faithful, Jesus Christ, our Lord, our Savior. Amen.